<laughs> Rancors and rockets. <coughs> Mind breeder. Yeah. Mind, Mind breeder. breeder. Yif dungeon. Yif dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> These are all great names for fictional bands, yeah. <laughs> like not like, for a uh, personal project. Yeah, not yeah. not not for what I'm doing. Fuzzy Lincoln might work though. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Just get a, yourself a top hat. And you already got the fuzz. Fuzzy Lincoln. A <laughs> uh, five car pileup. Oh wow. You're good at making up names. Like I'll give you that much. No, what have you done to me? What? You started you started where I got Oh wait no. No you no, I didn't. no, never mind. I for forgot it's Yeah, no, you started me right right. Oh in the I'm middle. sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. It's not that big of a difference. No. I'll only get a little less yardage. I accidentally hit it one more time. Sorry. Oh, that's all good. No, it really doesn't make that much difference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> It okay, just keeps <laughs> happening. Oh, well, we you shot it a little bit, a little bit short. If I was a little bit further, no, Taylor. fuck you! You wouldn't have. Do it again. All right, do I'm it again. Right from there, right it wouldn't have made there. a fucking difference. <laughs> She's building up her shelter over here. No, I'm going upstairs. Now. Okay. <laughs> like I was always headed there, but. Well, thank well, thank you for staying down here. That was very nope, nice of look, you. I made it. Oh, fuck you, you piece of shit! I didn't mean to do that. It's not my fault. One penalty stroke on Taylor. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> then you can you can do that. place me on the next one. How about that? All right. <laughs> I can do that. Oh God. What? No, all these uh, all these names are cheats. <laughs> oh, are they? Yeah, <laughs> they're all the names that we've named uh, our rock band bands. Oh. So if you use them, we're gonna have to sue you. Oh, I had a band name for my, for the band that I made in rock band, but it's racist. I can't say it. Say it. No. Is it bong rip poon Ron? <laughs> no. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Bye. I love you. No, I, I, I don't know if I should say. <laughs> Calling Sheila. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that sounds about right for you. Calling Sheila. No. Why not? No. That's stupid. <laughs> Remember one of the songs that, like, one of the joke names we came up with was um, Joanne Fabrics on Speed Dial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joanne Fabrics on Speed Dial. That's a... Blue Ham. Uh, Cross Obama. Uh, Cross Obama? Yeah, Cross Obama. What, is that? what does that mean? They're like, hey, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. What you? <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I shit. wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. Fuck. I didn't mean to do it, dude. I swear to God, I did not mean to fucking do that to you. Um. Nice I'm trying to like think of shit that like I, uh, like could pull from. And I'm like, I don't know, I gotta find something. <clears throat> Guitars with SARS. Guitars with SARS. Yeah, that seems about right. I don't know about that. <laughs> Dude, we're hitting 70 tonight. <laughs> Just tonight. <laughs> You know, and like the numbers are going to vary depending upon what order, what order I uh, edit these. In. <laughs> yeah. So I don't really know. I'm probably I usually whenever I edit, I do it in order um, of when we record them. So Ooh. Yeah, it's tough. 
so they don't get that fucking flag icon. Well, they they have it on the left. How many yards are remaining? Oh, so it says eleven point nine. Okay, so so you can gauge it. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little light. Whoopsie. Nice approach. Thanks. I, I would putt that there. I wouldn't chip it if I were you. But that's just me. No. No. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> it's just the frequency at this point. <laughs> like, that was like less than a minute after what <laughs> that I just fucking. <laughs> oh, that one stinks too. <laughs> it's just like a fucking fart conversation <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> the aim instant messenger of farts. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. Yeah, it is hard to read, isn't it? Shit. Oh, man. I'm also just getting tired of it. She's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's just fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Too much farting. <laughs> no, you're gonna get a guinea. <clears throat> oh yeah, it'll be me now. I can put you. <coughs> That's right. Fuck. Oh, she's taking a shower. Okay. <laughs> Probably because she got farted on so <laughs> much. <laughs> she feels assaulted, man. There you go. I just put you exactly where you, you okay. stood. Okay. All right. That's fine. <clears throat> that, that's 100 percent equal. <laughs> <coughs> I'll keep an eye on your fucking dead body, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Don't tell me what to fucking do, you stupid bitch. Oh yeah, we played this course before. They need to like make a new game. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> they need to make a new one of these games. Or make some more courses or something, because I think we've played on all of them. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure too, but I honestly can't remember. <laughs> you know what would be cool? Is if... If we went to school? No, you know what would be cool is if on uh, PlayStation 5 we've been... I think the rumor is anyway that it's going to be fully backwards compatible with every previous PlayStation. Um, it would be cool if like they kept, if it kept track of all the games that you purchased on the store, like the mm -hmm. PlayStation store, and if you could, like, download them if you wanted to. Like, if they somehow had them all on PlayStation Network, sort of. I know that's probably, like, a big order to get every single PlayStation game ever and put it on the store. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Especially <laughs> since they probably can't get the rights to everything. Yeah, but the reason I say it is just because, like, games like... Because uh, I, I ended up buying... Um, Hotshots Golf Out of Bounds twice. Yeah. Because I bought the physical copy and then I bought it again because they had like, um, <clears throat> they had the digital deluxe the version. digital deluxe version on sale one time. So I, I bought it and I got all the DLC with it. And it'd just be cool like if we had an opportunity to get a console with literally all of the Hotshots games on it. Yeah. Like, that'd be kind of cool. It'd be a lot easier that we could just switch switch yeah. between them rather than I have stop I have them. a lot of them I have one or no I have two three and four and then out of bounds which I think is five uh, world invitational and then this one so the only one I don't have is number one and even then if we wanted to play number one or two like we can just get an emulator <laughs> yeah because those are PlayStation 1 games <laughs> ooh Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good read, man. Good read. Thank you. I'd fart, but I don't have to. <laughs> Run out of air. <laughs> I just need to start sucking more. <laughs> <laughs> Get that extra air inside of me. Well, so far, I've birdied every single hole. Nice. I don't like this hole right here. This one's not good. No woods. That's okay. I play it short on this one. Anyway. <clears throat> so, Billy, what'd you think of Rise of Skywalker? Oh, 
overall, it was okay. It's better than eight. Eight was bad. I thought it was complete shit. Better than eight. But yeah, still pretty cool. Uh, they're both like on par with each other in a way. <laughs> overall, I thought it was, at least it was entertaining, <coughs> but yeah, not, not very I good. I went in knowing the story and I was still like, this sucks. <laughs> Because I spoiled the movie for myself before I even went and saw it. Nah. It was a night out. That, that's you know I liked it because it was a night out. It was it was really stupid. We went to, we wanted to go to the AMC theater, uh, where we saw the disaster artist. Mm hmm The one on Mound Road. Yeah. Um, I thought I remembered how to get there, so I just started driving down Hall Road, thinking that it was on Hall Road. And I'm like, uh, like we just kept driving around for a bit. I'm like, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> At one point, I'm like, I don't know where it is. I honestly don't know. I thought I knew, but, but I forgot. So we had to stop and ask for directions because Melissa didn't want to use her data, which is fine. <clears throat> and I'm like, oh, you just get off at the Mound Road exit, and it's there. Okay. <laughs> that was the worst part of the night. I think Melissa was just fucking angry at me after a point. But as soon as we got there, we didn't have to sit through all the previews and shit. We just got right in and saw the stupid movie and then left. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Best part of the movie, Babu Freak. Babu Freak, whatever his name is. Babu. Yeah, Babu He's Freak. the best part of the movie. The little tiny... Yeah. Grab the, 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 the droid... <clears throat> yeah. The droid mach machinist man. He is the best part of the whole movie. Whoever... Whoever wrote that character in there should be the director for the next trilogy. Oh. <laughs> that was actually James Gunn of Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, it was Ryan Johnson who came up with that one. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think they did as good of a job as they could have possibly have done with what they had to work with. Because yeah. it, was, it was a dumpster fire anyway. Like, Last Jedi fucked everything up so bad that I don't think they could have really made any... Yeah, this new trilogy is not very good. Yeah. Like, I actually probably like the original and the first trilogy better than I like <laughs> this new. Oh, yeah. No, the, like, the prequel trilogy is, like, better than this one, for sure. See, this is the one where Dennis is like, this is actually the only trilogy I like so far. Like, for real. Why? Because Dennis doesn't like normal things. I mean, you're entitled to that opinion. It's just that it's not a very popular one. He does not like Indiana Jones. He does not like Star Wars. I don't like Star Wars anymore. <coughs> I used to like Star Wars. Not now. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with it. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to hear it anymore. Because, like, the thing of it is, is, like, it's just the same shit every time. Like, yeah. at this point, like, it's just the same. Over and over, over and over and over. Like, there's no difference between... Like, there's barely any differences between, like, this, you know, like, vaguely speaking or broadly speaking, like, the, you know, the new trilogy versus the old one. Like, it's the same basic concept. Yeah. Which, when you look back at the prequels, like, yeah, the prequels aren't great movies either, but, like, at least I can give George Lucas credit for trying to do something new. Yes. With the series, you know? And and that I remember I, I think he used to say that like in like the, they during were, that time that he always wanted to try just to make something new you know he got tired of seeing the same thing mm -hmm. and I'm like I can give him some credit for that the writing's not the greatest in those early films no it's like, very dry well and pretty much like I would say the you know again broadly speaking in terms of the whole story episodes one and two are completely irrelevant like you don't need to watch them at all to get like the full effect of the story yeah you know. So my mine probably goes I like five, six, four, three. Yeah, three's pretty good. Seven, nine, eight, no. Seven. I'd probably say Phantom Menace is better than both Last Jedi, Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I honestly think the Rise of Skywalker is the worst one. In my opinion. I would say 8 was the worst. <clears throat> 8's bad, but at the same time, 8 felt like a movie. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, 9 is just such a fucking clusterfuck that they're just trying to get, like, so much shit done in, like, one movie that it's, like, 
there's like no scenes in it anymore. Like it's just a series of like, here's what we got to do. Let's go do this, do this, do this. Like there's no like pacing to it. You know, there's a lot of urgency. Yeah, like at least in in episode eight there were scenes, and like there was like a logical. Yeah, flow a lot to of them made me very angry. Yeah, I know. I didn't like them either. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put nine above eight. That's fine. You're entitled I'm gonna say to eight's the worst one. I'd say nine's the worst one. And it's only because of the, the fact that eight was so bad. <laughs> it's like, yeah, eight was just... You can't really, like, come up with a cohesive script after that. Did you re- Did you hear that they, they leaked that one dude's fucking version of the script? No. <laughs> Whatever the other dude is, the co-writer guy. I don't know what his name is. Dan, Dan Harmon. No. Um, like... Trev something Trev Trevor Auro, Trevor Noah Trevor Noah yeah he did it whatever yeah I'm fucking these shots because the gauge vanishes thing um yeah they, they they released a script that he wrote how's that playable still it's not <laughs> they don't give me a penalty though okay whatever they released a script um like it was a leaked script or whatever that like what Rise of Skywalker was going to be mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh I don't remember Ba- basically any of it because pretty much as soon as I went to see Rise of Skywalker it was immediately out of my head as soon as I walked out of the theater like I didn't retain any of it mm-hmm. um, but I remember seeing a video of somebody like reading through the script or like at least like covering all the points you know so that way you don't have to read the whole thing yeah and uh, I would say it was better than JJ's script um, but it still had like some dumb moments in it um, there were still some parts that were just kind of stupid um, but I mean, you know, whatever. At that point, like again, you have so much to work with that you can't really make a cohesive script out of the fucking trash that was the Last Jedi. Yeah, it was it was tough. Because that's what I thought after walk, even after seeing the uh, fucking Last Jedi. I'm like, what what the fuck can they possibly do with this? Like, none of it made any sense, and we're basically n- in like no different of a situation than we were at the beginning of the film. Mm-hmm. Except for now there's no Palpatine. There's no Supreme Leader. There's no Luke. And that's it. <laughs> and then Episode Nine comes out and then Palpatine's back even though they've not once mentioned his name in the whole rest of the series up till that point. Yeah. And, then my, and my thing was always, like, how does Ray or any of these characters know who the fuck Palpatine is? Like, is his legacy, like, that prevalent? Oh, I'm, s- I'm certain it is. He's I'm sure it is, to a degree, but, like, the First Order didn't even mention him at all. Like, they, there was never any mention of Palpatine until Episode Nine, And it's like, if their plan... J.J. says that the plan was to always to bring him back, but it's like, if that was the plan, you would have fucking, like, built that up, like, at least in the first two movies a little bit. Yeah. You know, kind of give a little bit. Yeah, you don't just pull the big bad guy out of nowhere at the fucking end. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Well, I guess the... I don't know. Whatever. I guess the, uh... Star Wars sucks. Fuck it. (laughs) The reason why he, you know... (laughs) They were hinting at him. (laughs) They were hinting at him because he was, uh... Allowing Ray and Kylo to communicate towards each other. Um, it wasn't just themselves doing it. Yeah, but we the, as the viewing audience have no inclination to think. I that. mean, they say it. Yeah, all they do is say it, and it's like, okay, well, yeah, right. Because they, you could just you're just saying it because like, that was just a writing device to kind of make sense of shit that didn't make any sense before. Yeah, <laughs> like people were asking that question of like, how do they do this? And it's like. Who cares how they do it? Here's the, how they do it. And for all those people asking the fucking question. Uh, this is a dangerous shot, but fuck it. I've got, I've got a lead. Fuck it. Let's make it interesting. It's true. But fuck it. But right, <coughs> fuck it. Right in its mouth, vagina. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Look at that yeah. shit. I go from sucking ass to not sucking ass. Mario Party. Oh yeah, but I'm yeah I'm done with Star Wars. I don't want it anymore. Oh, you miss it, but that might not be a bad thing. A little off to the side. Oh my God, who put this boat here? That's actually pretty good though. Yeah, no, no. you got no penalty. Fuck, why not, dude? You can eagle this. Yeah.
chug, 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 chug. <gasps> wow. Oh, three point sure. three feet. You're point three feet away from a fucking eagle, man. Mm-hmm. Bitch. Yeah, Star Wars can die now. Eagle. I, I initially I had said when we when nine was was coming out that I'm like I'm not gonna go fucking I'm not paying money to see this, so the only reason that we went to see it is because we had a gift card. Okay. <laughs> so that works. You know, uh, we had a gift card specifically for that AMC. So I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just you know, it'll be a night out. That way we can you know say that we saw it. I 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 synced it to my zone. <laughs> you used to have a zoom. I still do. Oh, you still do? Shit. Yeah. How big is it? That big. It tells me nothing. That was a fart. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking for a... a a number a dimensional size? No, for for probably as big as uh, no, not dimensional. I mean, like how much space is on it? Oh, um, 120 gigs. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. No. 90 gigs. That's still a lot. Yeah, it had a lot of space on it. Fuck you. I think I need to get a new. Uh, music player thing at some point yes. here. Oh, that's not bad, though. You didn't get a stroke penalty for that. <clears throat> I don't I don't need one. I would put it on my phone, but, like, I already got a lot of, like, memory taken up on the phone, so I'm not going to put it on there. Yeah, that makes sense. Although I think I can get a, an SD card if I wanted to. I apologize if I offended you. <laughs> I mean, I don't like those racial remarks, but I will defend your right to uh, to fart them. Uh, it's weird because like I had like a, a thing on my iPod where like the screen was like fucky for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, there was like a dot on it or something like that that was like you know I don't know if it was like dead pixels or what, but it shrunk over time. Like the pixels are okay now. It doesn't sound like dead pixels. It might have yeah, been like it was. It's something, loose. something under the screen or something though. It's gotten smaller. It was like a big glob of something on there. Hmm. <clears throat> like just something like with like the screen. I don't know what it is. Like it's kind of hard to describe it. But it's just imagine like a, like a blob shaped region where there's no pixels. Interesting. And it's. It's it was bigger and then it shrunk over time. I don't know why. But as, as I saw it, I'm like, well, I'm gonna let this thing run itself into into the ground and then I'll buy a new one when I need to. Yeah. If I buy a new one, I can get an Apple one. That's for sure. Cause fuck them, man. They suck. Yeah, fuck Apple. <laughs> Next time on Chinstrap Chaps. Oops. I didn't mean to hit that. <laughs>